Well, I'll get us started. Uh, just uh, you guys are what a week or so away from getting out onto the the court. How are things kind of going, and how exciting is that for you guys? Yeah, like a, a week exactly. Actually, um, things are going really smoothly. Um, we're just so excited to get on the court and just to finally play some games. How different is this year with with so many new faces coming in and so many people that you lost? What's that transition been like for you guys? Um, it's been a very smooth transition. I think everyone's really fit into the team just amazingly. And yeah, it's a pretty new team, but you always like find what works and yeah, you can only move forward. So yeah, we're very excited for this season. Yeah, it's just given the how long you guys had off, right? You, you know, had your Pac-12 tournament in and then the season kind of went from there and now all the work has been put in, you know, on all sides, just getting back to play. How excited are you guys to actually take the court and, you know, get this season underway? Honestly, I am so over the moon just to be able to step on the court again. It's been such a long time coming um, and I can't wait to just start playing with this new group. Jazz, you are a junior now. Yeah. Um, and you had an elevated role last year, but how do you see your role kind of um, changing and elevating even more um, with losses like Michaela and, and Destiny and Kat? Um, honestly, I think everyone's got a really important role to fill this year, um, it, myself included, but I think just individually and collectively, all of us are going to have to step up um, in many ways on and off the court. Yeah, so I'm just really excited to watch that unfold. What is it? Wonder about one of your new players, Ellie. Um, how does she? How does she fit into the 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 mix on your team? Sorry, what was that question? How do, how does Ellie fit into the mix on your team? What have you seen from her in practice? Ellie is amazing. Uh, she can shoot the three like no one else. Um, her defense is phenomenal, and yeah, she fits into this culture and this program really well. Hey, Jazz, what have you been impressed with with just that group of newcomers? I know that your system is not easy to pick up right away and you guys mm -hmm. haven't had as much time as normal. Have you been impressed with how quickly they picked it up or, or what's that kind of felt like for them kind of getting up to speed in a, in a short period of time? Yeah, I mean, it is a, uh, a process to get here when you first like come in. Um, but I think everyone has really like carried each other with that. So it's made the transition a lot easier. Um, I've been like impressed with absolutely everyone in this team so far. And yeah, I'm just excited to step on the call with them all. Jazz, do you have, Jazz. Any, do you have any concerns yeah. about this season? Sorry, <laughs> Jazz, do you have any concerns about the season possibly maybe getting postponed at some point or mm -hmm. shifting? Because I mean, the schedule has changed so much and we're watching this kind of COVID outbreak come back up again. So what yeah. I get the team mindset be, or what, are your, what is your coach telling you? Honestly, I, we're not really too concerned with if the season gets postponed or canceled. I think we've handled versatility really well, legit, since the end of the Pac-12 tournament. So we're ready to face any challenge that comes our way. Jazz, yesterday, uh, Aaliyah and your coach kind of said, you guys have 12 plus people who can hit the three. Yeah. Uh, you obviously have a lot of threats inside mm -hmm. um, and that that's going to be really tough to guard. But what do you see as the strengths of this new group this year? Uh, honestly, I think that and then on top of that, um, probably just like how versatile and like we're a very athletic team. I think like our average height is probably six two or six three. Um, everyone can shoot. We have a very strong like post presence. So I think like our strengths are very different, um, like varying from the individual. So yeah, collectively, I think we have a very strong team this year. Hey, you guys are playing 22 conference games this mm -hmm. year. 22 conference games. Yeah. Uh, what's that? That's a daunting just playing the 18 normally. What's that feel like to know you're going up and playing four or more against really good competition? Honestly, like it's actually exciting because you get to play every team twice. Um, so more games, like we missed out on the entire NCAA tournament. Um, so our season got cut short. So to have more games under our belt, yeah, it's nothing daunting about that. It's a challenge that we're ready for. All right, I'm gonna start it. Ellie, the last time you and I talked, uh, you were just getting ready to make the big move out to the West Coast. Um, what has that transition been like um, and how nice is it to kind of finally get out on the court? I know you were really excited to play with Kennedy and Taylor. So what has that been like to kind of getting to mesh and play with those two? 
Yeah, it's been super smooth so far. Everyone has been super welcoming and I feel like I fit right in, um, especially the Corvallis community as well. They've just kind of um, been, been there for me. And um, so it's been really a great transition. Um, in terms of basketball, um, I love, you know, playing with new teammates and kind of trying to figure out our team and, and learning what we're, we're each about. Um, so that part has been really, really fun. Ellie, when you were at uh, Bucknell, um, how uh, how long did you consider making a move to another program? Because the Patriot League is so weird with fifth year rules, like they don't let fifth year players come back. I knew that I was probably going to grad transfer since I was a junior in college. How much How much did you pay attention to the to the Pac twelve? You know, being back where you were. Uh, just because geographically it was so far away. It definitely wasn't in the forefront of my mind, um, but I was definitely aware that it was one of the best conferences uh, in the country. And I was kind of generally aware of Oregon State and all the success that they had had uh, as a program. What, what did you know about what did you know about the Pac-12? I mean, did you know any of the players or any of the coaches or any of the team? You said you said a little bit about Oregon State, but. Yeah, uh, I didn't know anyone personally, um, that's for sure. Um, but I mean, I've been a fan of women's basketball since I was a kid, so definitely aware of um, the success that teams like Stanford and UCLA and, and teams like that have had, as well as Oregon State. Ellie, Jazz just said that you shoot the three ball like no one else. What makes you so confident and makes you so special shooting behind the arc? Uh, mostly just a lot of hard work. Um, I shoot pretty much every day outside of practice, and so that kind of builds my confidence. But also, I just have great teammates who get me open, get me the ball in the right place, so that definitely helps. You get any uh, any competitions at all shooting a three, maybe with Aaliyah, or um, I mean, you you, you got to shoot it to keep up with her, don't you? Yeah, yeah, she's she's for sure a def, uh, a very good shooter, um, along with so many other players players on our team. You know, Jazz, uh, <laughs> Yo, people like that, um, Taya. So uh, definitely some friendly competitions, but I think we're just trying to make each other better. What what sort of offers did you did you have out of high school? Uh, not very many. They were all mid major. Um, Bucknell obviously seems like Lehigh, uh, St. Joe's, Villanova. So mostly local uh, schools around Philly. I know. I know. Earlier in your career, you had uh, you had a couple of torn ACLs. I think over a three year period. How, how did you bounce back from that mentally? It definitely wasn't easy. Um, and I, I still have a little bit of trauma from those knee injuries, that's for sure. But I think ultimately it, it made me a better um, basketball player in the long run um, and just a stronger person in general. Ellie, yesterday your coach and Aaliyah said that the strength of this team is you guys have 12 plus three-point shooters. You obviously have a lot of threats inside as well. Um, but from your perspective, what do you see the strengths of this team being this year? Definitely just our versatility. I think shooting the three is huge. Um, there's not many teams in the country that can say that 12 of their players shoot really well from the three-point line. Um, so I think a lot of our strengths are going to come from that. But also, I think we just have a young team that enjoys playing together. And hopefully that joy, hopefully um, that team chemistry shows on the court as well. What uh, what sort of adjustment is it for you? I, I don't imagine you've, you've spent a lot of time out of the out of the you know, the Midwest area, have you in your life? I mean, this is, this is all new to you out here, isn't it? Isn't it? And that in the combination that you're a senior and, you know, you haven't been with this team and I mean, what's that adjustment like? Um, it definitely is an adjustment. This is my first time really being on the West coast. Um, but I mean, people around here are pretty much the same. They are everywhere else in the U S. Um, so that part hasn't been hard. Um, I think, Coming to the Pac-12 level has definitely been challenging at times. Everyone on this team is just so much faster and longer and taller. Um, but I think I'm starting to get a hang of it. And I know that me, along with all the other players on our team, are just going to continue to grow. So I know we talked not that long ago, but you guys are now a week out. Um, you've seen your Pac-12 schedule. How fun, uh, challenging will a 22-game conference schedule be? Yeah, it's going to be, like you said, challenging, but also very, very fun. Last year, I don't remember how many Pac-12 games we got to play. I think like 18, 18 or so. Yeah. Um, 
And that was, that was difficult. And we, um, I mean, on the body, it's very, very tough. Like every single game you have to show up and you have to give 100%, 110% that you have. And so knowing that we're going to be playing 22 games, it's very exciting just because we are actually able to do it, but it's, it's a little nerve wracking. Um, but I'm, I'm nothing but excited for this season. Taylor, you're coming off a really big year. Uh, what have you tried to work on in this very elongated off season mm -hmm. um, to kind of build off the success that you obviously had last year? Yeah, so last year, my play was kind of back to the basket, um, like one dribble score, didn't really do much other than that. I mean, rebounding and blocking. And so this year, I'm trying to expand my game, work on a like 15 to seven foot jumper. I mean, 17 foot jumper, um, working on being able to drive to the basket, being more of a threat on defense and staying out of foul trouble. Definitely. <laughs> um, I assume you'll have Kennedy back. Um, haven't heard otherwise. And now you also have someone like Ellie uh, down low with you with an abundance of other bigs. Um, what is the, I guess, the strength of that group kind of looked like um, while you guys have been practicing together over the last however long. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think not even just like in the post, but all around, we're very versatile. Um, Scott mentioned the other day that we have 12 out of the 13 players that he is comfortable shooting the three. And um, so I think that means that most of our bigs are shooting the three, like we can um, be fours and fives. And I think Ellie, Ellie can play, honestly, probably one through five if she really needed to. Um, I think that our posts are very fast, athletic, and it's just going to be a different look than what we had last year. We have a lot of height and a lot of speed. We have a bunch of different, like different posts, different post play. Like me and Yelena, our games are completely different. She's six foot nine and she is more of, I would say kind of, she's strength and finesse. And I'm more of like speedy, um, like just trying to get past you and use a bunch of moves, like just try and get you off your feet. So it's just completely different looks and I'm, it's gonna be amazing to see what we do. You know, last year you never really got a chance to play with, uh, to play with Taya, um, cause she got hurt. What's it like having her back and, and how good does she look getting ready for this season? Yeah, so last year she was out for the injury and I actually did get to play with her in Italy. We played four games together and we had those 10 practices. And then coming back, we had a few practices before she did get hurt. And um, I was just super, super bummed that she couldn't play because I love playing with Taya. She's super, super composed and she's just so smart. She has such a knowledge of the game that it's um, like amazing to see because that's something that I kind of struggle is like, understanding and processing the game. And so I've definitely learned a lot from her just because of our mindset. And then being able to see her uh, play, it's just amazing. Like seeing people coming back from injuries, I just love seeing that. And I think she's um, kicking it in the butt and I think she's gonna do great this year. You obviously don't have Michaela and Destiny. And I've heard that Taya, aside from that, has really stepped up as a leader for the team. Mm -hmm. um, and is especially vocal alongside Aaliyah. Have you kind of seen that out of her, her step up in that way as well? Yes, I think um, Taya has definitely stepped up in the leadership position. That's, um, she is kind of quiet. And so seeing that, seeing her talk a lot on the court has been amazing. Her and Aaliyah, I think are very, they're taking on this leadership role very seriously. And I think they're doing a great job at it. They, even whenever we were in quarantine, those first few months, they had us in, group chats, texting every single day, like setting up Zoom calls and like FaceTime calls just so we can stay in contact. And I think that leadership has definitely carried on through now and it's helping us a lot on the court. I think um, they're able to help us walk through a bunch of stuff, helping the freshmen, helping everyone that needs help. And people also, because of that, people aren't afraid to ask for help. And it, um, I think it helps a lot and I'm excited. Taylor, you were named on the McLean watch list last week. So what does that mean to you to be recognized on such a big national level? Um, it's definitely an honor. I was 
uh, very happy that I got that. That was something that I was like on the lookout for, like maybe I'd get it, maybe I wouldn't, but it's also something that I can't let get to my head. Honestly, it's something that I use that for motivation because I'm like, you have 15 of us, like I wanna be the one. I wanna be um, number one, I wanna get that award. And so it kind of drives me and pushes me, I think getting stuff like that, but I think something, I can't let it get to my head. I'm on a team and I don't play for me, I play for everyone around me. And so it's gonna be amazing to see how it shapes out. And having that year under your belt after having a successful freshman season, do you feel like you need to help those newcomers on the team and do you wanna push them to be as successful as you were? Yes, um, I think that our three freshmen have the potential to do amazing things. They are, have so much potential and they just want to learn. They're hungry to learn. They wanna do as best as they possibly could and I know like what it feels like to be in their uh, shoes right now. They're being thrown to the wolves. They are very overwhelmed. They think that they're not gonna be able to understand like all the plays, everything that we're running because our offense and defense, so our program is very detailed and it's very hard to like understand, especially at the beginning. And so just trying to help them, like walk them through it all and let them know that like, it's okay. Everyone was here like where you were last year, um, I think just, reassuring them that will help to bring the best out of them.